it is more desired to avoid the creation of waste as opposed to trying to clean it up after, which can be costly. In this example, John and Tran are trying to make an egg without the yolk. Notice Tran taking preemptive measures by separating out the yolk while John simply cracks the whole egg. Separating the egg will minimize waste because the yolk can be used later for other recipes. Now that they have put their eggs in a bowl, it is time to cook. Allez cuisine! Tran has taken the necessary steps to prevent waste from making her fried egg without the yolk. John, however, will have difficulty later separating the cooked yolk, which eventually will have to go into the trash. John will now attempt to separate his cooked egg yolk. Aside from the fact that he is using extremely dangerous tools without proper training, cut out the yolk after can only lead to trouble. Because John did not prevent the creation of waste, not only does he have to throw away the yolk, but the egg white as well, which was contaminated by the waste. In order to demonstrate atom economy, Tran will maximize the amount of food she can get from one egg by using a spoon to guarantee that all of the egg is incorporated into the final product. John, however, has taken no care into how much egg he gets, which is reflected in his one-handed nonchalant cracking technique. In all cases, the methods for preparing a substance should be executed to minimize the toxicity of both the final substance and the methods themselves. Tran is using a standard stainless steel pan to cook her eggs, while John is using a lead pan, which most likely will make any egg he cooks poisonous. Safer chemicals means happier people, and equivalently safer eggs means happier stomachs. In order to make sure that the eggs we have are not rotten, a good way to test is dipping the eggs in water. If it floats, it's rotten, and conversely, if it sinks, it's still okay. This method is important in making sure that the eggs are still okay to cook and eventually eat. Occam's razor dictates in no specific words that simplicity is often the best possible course of action. In this case, simplicity means that a properly cooked egg only needs salt and pepper. However, John desires to express his creativity and skill in cooking, and will add condiments that are completely unnecessary, such as ketchup and soy sauce. In the end, it will ruin the taste of the egg, and he would have been better off sticking with the basics instead of using extra ingredients. Using the same creative egg that he just made, John will make another green chemistry mistake. He thinks that by putting the egg in the oven, it will cook faster, and it might. However, the amount of energy that an oven requires not only to preheat, but also to maintain temperature just to cook a singular egg makes his cooking process completely inefficient. We want to make sure that the materials we use can be cycled back into the environment safely. Instead of disposing the egg shells into the trash, where they would just end up in a landfill, we can incorporate the shells into our bird's meal. The egg shells are processed by the bird's digestive system, and the nutrients can be used to produce a new egg. Thus, the cycle repeats. Although proper protection is important, it is equally important to reduce the amount of unnecessary derivatives such as protection. In this case, John is one step below a full-on hazmat suit and is overdressed to cook the eggs. Which makes more sense to speed up the cooking process, adding an egg or adding oil? This question is analogous to green chemistry. It is better to add catalytic reagents than stoichiometric reagents. For every single experiment, it is important that any of the products created do not persist for long in the environment and degrade into environmentally friendly substances. In this case, the product is made for consumption and can be used as a natural fertilizer as part of compost or after being passed through the body. 
It is important as a green chemist to have a monitoring process as the experiment is occurring in order to prevent the creation of any potentially harmful substances to both the environment and you as well. For this principle, Tran will demonstrate real-time analysis while she seasons her egg before bringing it to the pan. In contrast, John is not monitoring how much of each substance he adds, which heightens the risk that the product he creates could be hazardous to Tran and him. Even though most laboratories are well equipped to handle chemical spills, the chemicals chosen should minimize the potential for accidents to happen because not only are accidents very costly to clean up, but fires and explosions can be lethal. This accident could have just as easily been prevented as it just as easily could have been dangerous, so it's important to be aware of the substances you use in the laboratory. 